Dad. No, Dad, slow down. Hypertension, that's high blood pressure, isn't it? But well, didn't Granddad Tippett have that? So it's hereditary, is that what you're saying? Oh, Dad, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to go. I'll call you back. What's wrong? Uh, my Dad's just been diagnosed with a hypertension. I... Oh, here we go. Persistent hypertension is one of the risk factors for strokes, heart attacks, heart failure and aortic aneurysm and is a leading cause of chronic renal failure. Fascinating. Family history increases the risk of developing hypertension as does a sedentary lifestyle, excess body fat, alcohol intake and vitamin D deficiency. How old is your dad? Oh, late 40s. Does he look after himself? He's an organic health food freak. Does he exercise? Every day. Then he has nothing to worry about. Minutes. Uh... Thank you. Well? Do you remember Solly? What about him? Remember all those times he used to come to school without lunch? And we nicked food from the tuck shop for him? Yeah, we're a couple on regular Robin Hoods, so... Never got caught either. Plenty of kids could have dobbed us in. Why do you reckon they didn't? They didn't want to see Solly go hungry any more than we did. Point taken. Now that we're back on the subject, one of us is going to make that phone call, and I'd really rather it wasn't me. Because if it is, I'm not going to mess around with the racing guys. I'll go straight to the cops. You've changed. What, and you haven't? You're still robbing from the rich to give to the poor? And none of it's gone into your pockets? And you haven't used any of it to dig yourself out of the debt from the last practice that collapsed? If I go under, the outreach clinic goes with me, and your girlfriend loses her new favourite tenant just when we're about to start something good. Is that what you want? That's what I came here to tell you. You leave Sarah out of it. You think I don't mean what I say? What, this pro bono nonsense that you're filling your head with? No, I don't. It's totally legit. One more win to clear the decks. That's all I need. One more. Thank you. That was yum. How are you feeling? You know what it's like adjusting to night shifts. I don't know whether I should crawl back into bed or what. No, I mean, how are you feeling about us? Do we really need to have a big, heavy discussion about it? What would you prefer? That we pretend nothing's wrong? I'd prefer we didn't argue. It was a bit of fun that got out of hand. Let's stop blaming each other and get on with it. Until the next time you expect me to lie for you. Maya, I lie for you every day. You think people don't ask? They get a couple of drinks in them and out it comes. What about Maya? Did she really kill that guy? And I don't say anything. I would never. I know. But I'm not perfect. And I'm not like you. I don't tiptoe around in case people think something bad about me. I know why you're like that, but I'm not. And I love that. I'm not asking you to change. But... But sometimes it makes things difficult at work. Because you're my boss. So what do we do? I don't know. Well, it's easy, really. Next time I decide to commit industrial sabotage, I just won't tell you. Brilliant. Seriously. That way you can put your hand on your heart and tell management you didn't have a clue. I don't think anyone ever fixed their relationship by deciding to keep more secrets. Radical. I know. You got a better idea? What happened to you? I went for a run. Please don't tell anyone you saw me like this. Are you sure? I'm sure TK would be impressed by all the effort you're putting in. And when I say TK, I mean the Team K. <clears throat> I don't want them to know. Why not? Because it shouldn't be this hard. Nothing should. Well, they say it's easier with a buddy. Someone to help spur you on. Probably. Nice trainers. What? They're the same brand as mine. I bought them a couple of weeks ago, back when I was still on the team. Now they're sitting in my room taunting me, looking all white and prissy and never been used. That's me to a T, isn't it? Gerald or Babylon? Well, I had some bad news today. Well, actually, no, my father had the bad news, but he was laughing about it. The man's an eternal optimist. I have a serious chance of developing chronic hypertension and having a heart attack, at the very least. I need to control my eating and establish a daily exercise regime. Good for you. So, if you're looking for a buddy, 
Hi. You and me? Why not? I think we're at the same level of incompetence, don't you? Hi. Hey. hey, what are you doing here? He's come to take us away from all this. Have I? Oh, I was just getting into it. I've been trying to get my head around how Henry's trust is going to work. I think I've mastered the basics. I thought a celebratory lunch might be in order, the three of us. Yes, please. But we're going to have to hurry because I've got patience later. Let's go. Hang on. Hold your horses. There's always time for a quick makeup check. Hold your horses. I love it. Call the TAB on the way over. Point taken still in the race. I told you why. And I told you to keep Sarah out of it. You're using her to twist my arm. When's the last time you saw her so happy about work? Day she opened this place. And how long did that last? This is the start of something. She's excited, so am I. Even Ruben's starting to come round. So it's just me spoiling the party. Ready? Ah, oh, sorry, babe. Have to head back to ED. Oh. oh, never mind. I'm sure Henry will show me a good time. Love to. <laughs> Don't do it. Farm on the Can I have the number for Fundo Police Station? 